Once we log into the admin of the host and controller, adding a new website is really a simple task. We just have two steps. We add a user and we add the domain name. So first we're going to add the user by clicking on the user manager. Then we click add user and we give the user a name. I'm going to give this one uh, login name of Carol, C-A-R-R-O-L-L-S. Then I'll give it a password. And then a description I don't need. And then I click Next. Then it's just a fill in the blank form. And I'm going to fill in these blanks, just its name, address, and phone number, things like that. I'm going to uh, just stop for a minute and then go to the next step. Now that those steps have been completed, I just click on Add Web Admin. And it's going to set up the hosting space for this website for me now. And there it is, Carol's is there. And so now I'm done with adding a user. Now I can go and add the domain. So here I click on Add Website. And I put in the website name, which is the domain name. And then I'm going to select the user that I just added. There it is, Carol's and now it is a name-based domain it's and I do want mail access so I'm going to give them a mail password and then I click next and then uh, click next one more time and then it's showing the the um, IP address, which uh, doesn't change, we just leave that there, and then add website. And once I click add website, it sets it up, and now I'm ready. There's my that IP address I can use for FTP. The username, it carols in this example, is the username for FTP access and the password that I set up here is the password for uh, also for FTP access or it, it's also the user ID and password to log in right here to the hosting controller to have access to just this one domain Carol's Jewelers and that's all there is to it it's just that easy